Hello friends, myself Anand B. Kodori. Today we are here to learn if the hydraulic jump occurs in a rectangular channel, then what will be the relation between conjugate tips that is y1 and y2. Okay, so before start this video, I request to watch the part first of this uh, hydraulic jump video in that I have explained the definition, its uh, classification, where it occurs and why do we require to create the hydraulic jump and also its practical applications okay so we'll start this video then before starting this video we need to some uh, we have some assumptions to start the derivation okay so in that uh, first assumption is that it is assumed that the channel is horizontal and it has a very mild slope so that the component of the weight of liquid in the direction of flow is negligible okay it is assumed that the jump takes place in very short distance means distance is very small okay so that frictional losses can be negligible and we can be avoided okay so it is assumed and then next one is it is assumed that the flow before the jump and after the jump is uniform uniform means what uh, the flow characteristic characteristics does not change with respect to distance or space and one dimensional it is also one time one dimensional means what we are considering the velocity in only one direction because uh, the length is very high as compared to uh, width and depth of any channel section that's why we are taking one dimensional flow means we are considering uh, velocity of flow in only one direction that is called one dimensional flow okay and uh, it is also assumed that pressure distribution is hydrostatic before and after the jump. Uh, the pressure distribution is hydrostatic. Hydrostatic pressure uh, distribution means what? It is always in a triangular nature because whenever the depth goes on increasing, the intensity of discharge goes on increasing. That's why it is called as hydrostatic pressure and means it is a triangular nature. Okay, It, it is always shown in triangular nature then it is also assumed that the velocity distribution before and after jump is uniform so that alpha and beta that is uh, energy correction factor and momentum correction factor is also one okay then next uh, i have taken the uh, rectangular channel section having depth is equal to y1 that is before the jump and width as equal to b and that is b is equal to we have assumed as one so friends I uh, means I want to tell you the one thing that the depth of uh, sorry the width of the channel will not change before and after the jump only the change will be occur in the depth okay so I have considered as width as equal to 1 b is equal to 1 that is before and after those will be same only depths are going to change that is before the jump the depth is lesser that is y1 and after the jump that is uh, that is y2 that is higher than the y1 before the jump the as per definition the flow will be super critical that is fr number should be greater than 1 then uh, after the jump the flow will be uh, having le lesser velocity and having higher depth that is y2 okay and here one more thing i have written that cg distance that is center of gravity distance for a uh, rectangular channel that is half the half the depth that is y1 by 2 before the jump and y2 by 2 it is after the jump after the jump occurs okay and area i have given here is a1 is equal to b into y1 and a2 is equal to b into y2 but as we know that b is equal to 1 so area is going to become only y1 and a2 is equal to become y2 because width is same before the jump i am repeating this sentence before the jump and after the jump width is same that is b is equal to 1 now as i already told you that hydrostatic force is always in triangular nature because as depth goes on increasing the weight of water goes on increasing so intensity of pressure will also goes on increasing okay then uh, hydrostatic force is equal to unit weight of water and to area into cg distance now gamma is the unit weight and area is equal to a and cg distance as already told that y1 divided by 2 the unit of gamma is newton per m cube and unit of area is meter cube and uh, unit of 
सीके डिस्टेंस दैट इज मीटर सो मीटर क्यूब एंड मीटर क्यूब विल कैंसल दैन द विन्यूट ऑफ फोर्स विल गोइंग टू बिकम न्यूटन एंड दैट इज राइट वन मीन्स द वेट एंड फोर्स आर ऑलवेज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन न्यूटन ओके सो हाइड्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स इज गोइंग टू बिकम हियर व्यामा इन टू वाई वन स्क्वेयर वाई वन स्क्वेयर डिवाइडेड बाई टू सिंपली मीन्स आफ्टर सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन पी वन इज इक्वल टू ओके now same it will become for p2 also in that only change is here it will come y2 and p2 then this is the hydraulic jump occurring in a horizontal floor okay so this is the section before the jump and this is the section after the jump section 1 1 and section 2 2 so here hydrostatic pressure that is p1 well uh, depth is y1 before the jump v1 is the velocity before the jump after the jump the depth will become y2 and velocity v2 and uh, hydrostatic force is p2 now we are going to uh, use the momentum equation here means newton's second law in that what the uh, what they have uh, stated that what he has stated that the summation of all the forces the summation of all the forces acting on any object is equal to change in momentum in that direction only okay so here uh, from the diagram we can get the we can we can get this information that is y1 is equal to depth of flow at section 1 1 before the jump as i already told v1 is the velocity before the jump x1 is the cg distance from base that is y1 divided by 2 for rectangular as i already told for rectangular it is y1 by 2 means it is the half of the depth so same cases regarding x2 a1 a2 as a1 is area is going to become y1 and a2 because width we are considering as 1 so p1 is the hydrostatic pressure at section 1 1 and p2 is the hydrostatic force at section 2 2 now q is equal to av that is continuity equation a into v where area is equal to a1 that is b into y1 we assume that b is equal to 1 so area is going to become y1 only by continuity equation q is equal to b into y1 v1 is equal to b y2 v2 this is continuity equation so here we are assuming b is equal to 1 so the discharge per width, per meter width or unit discharge is equal to small q divided by capital q divided by v okay so b will be remain same before the depth after the depth so small q is equal to y1 into v1 y2 into v2 so v1 becomes small q divided by y1 and v2 becomes small q divided by y2 applying the momentum equation between section 1 1 and 2 2 we get sum of all the forces in the direction of flow is equal to rate of change of momentum as i already told you so p1 and p2 because weight component and frictional resistance are were also forces there but those were cancelled uh, because of their negligible only okay so now gamma into small q divided by g v2 minus final velocity minus initial velocity so hydrostatic force at section 1 1 and section 2 2 at p1 is equal to gamma into y1 square by 2 as i already uh, told you how it is coming so p2 is also gamma into y2 square by 2 so just we are going to just putting these values of p1 into p2 in this equation and i and same for v2 and v1 as i already calculated the value of v2 is equal to q divided by y1 and uh, y2 sorry v1 is equal to q divided by y1 and v2 is equal to q divided by y2 same values we are going to put here also so the equation is going to become like this and after simplifying we get y1 square minus y2 and 2q divided by g bracket in bracket v2 minus v1 again we are putting these values so equation is going to become y1 plus y2 in bracket y1 minus y2 is equal to 2q square divided by g y1 y2 and y in bracket y1 minus y2 this is simple math we, by simplifying we can get y2 plus y1 is equal to 2q square small q square divided by g into y1 into y2 then for uh, adjustment of uh, derivation we are multiplying both sides by y2 we get 
to that equation y2 square plus y2 into y1 is equal to 2q square in divided by g y1 okay then again by dividing y1 square on both sides we get y2 upon y1 and y2 divided by y1 is equal to 2q square divided by g y1 square okay then but but small q square is equal to then q is equal to v1 into y1 okay so v1 is equal to q divided by y1 hmm? then here we are y1 cube is uh, separating by y1 into y1 square so that i can get q divided by y1 is equal to v1 means already we are we know the value of v1 is equal to q divided by y1 so here i am again simplifying this equation v1 square by g y1 okay then g uh, this will become this is the actually formula for proud number that is v upon under root g d d is the hydraulic depth that is a by a by t okay so in this case the value of a by t is going to become y1 that's why the proud number is going to become v1 upon g y1 so by simplifying this equation we are getting here y2 by y1 square plus y2 by y1 is equal to 2 fr1 square just putting that value then again simplifying and then by uh, using quadratic equation simplifying by quadratic method uh, this equation is become y2 by y1 is equal to one half under under bracket uh, in bracket minus one plus under root one plus two fr1 square okay and then this by simplifying we are getting the relation between y2 and y1 that is y2 is equal to y1 upon 2 in bracket minus 1 plus under root 1 plus 8 fr1 square okay so this was our aim to calculate the relation between uh, conjugate depths that is y2 and y1 this is uh, uh, this is same for y2 and also y1 also okay then thank you for watching this video hope you all understood the uh, derivation of when the hydraulic jump occurs in a rectangular channel okay thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe share and like have a nice day thank you thank you very much